So I'm here at the Asian Institute of Gemological Sciences School. I have five pieces of ruby with me here. However, I don't know which one is natural or which one is synthetic. So let's see if our students here at AIGS can help us identify which one is synthetic and which one is natural. So let's go get some help. Hi Marco, so actually I bought these three pieces of rubies and I'm not sure if they're natural or synthetic. So okay, okay. could you please help me identify yeah, these? Sure. Um, so this is doublet. The top part is green sapphire. The bottom part is synthetic red uh, coronal. This stone is a synthetic uh, ruby. I saw this by using the RI by using the refractometer and. Um, then I used the microscope to see the inclusions. I did the same identification steps as the other two rubies, but I'm not sure if it's uh, natural or synthetic. Maybe I can ask uh, Anne. Anne. Can you help me, please? Yeah, sure. In my point of view, this one's a synthetic ruby due to the inclusions they have, especially for the gas bubbles. The answer is not completely accurate. This stone is a natural ruby treated with lead glass filling. It is totally acceptable for students who haven't completed their AG program as it's been only three months. So when students learn the synthetic and treated gem identification course, they will be able to accurately identify and understand the stones. Synthetic. After Looking at the stone in the microscope, I could see that it had a wispy um, flux veil showing that it's a flux synthetic ruby. Oh. That stone is natural. Looking at this stone, I can see that it's a natural ruby. It has polysynthetic twinning. I saw that the stones were corundum rubies when I put them on the refractometer and saw that they had a very specific RI reading and buyer fringes. Then I looked at them in the microscope to separate them from natural to synthetic. Not only does AIGS school provide theoretical knowledge and foundation of gemology, it also allows the students to gain practical and hands-on experience in identifying, grading, and testing gemstones. Students can enroll in the accredited gemologist program, a six-month course, or even take short and intensive courses they prefer with numerous subjects to choose from. If you're interested in knowing more about gemological science, you can visit our website.